Hello and welcome to part number 10 of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode No Death Run. And today I'm going to be continuing with the search for the Barbarian set. The third set is in the Gerudo region. This is going to be a little bit more challenging to reach. So uh, we will try to... I've planned out the best possible route that I can think of. There are some issues with this route. Uh, it's going to be in the area called the... So as you glide through uh, to the Gerudo region, it's the grassland area. I uh, forget the actual name that it's uh, referred to as. Uh, but the grassland area will basically be the the region that uh, we need to go through. I believe I have enough to supplement my... Uh, my my trek there. I think I have sufficient endurance shrooms and everything else. So I will kind of take a quick rest here. And there are cobblers here, of course. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. Or at least miss. Now I think this should be the best place to jump off from. I want to be able to reach one of those trees. Uh, I'll see which one I can. Uh, so this area, this grassland area, once you hit the uh, grasslands here, you cannot summon your horse. And I think the reason for that is it counts this area as sort of like a the desert area similar to the Gerudo Sands the horse cannot make it there so I'm thinking that's the reason but it doesn't make sense because uh, to me uh, there are horses here so wh why can't why, 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 why can't any of these horses be also the way they are so you know I don't know Okay, so we will just commandeer a horse and uh, should I be doing this? Alright, okay, well I have to eat through that one. I did not expect that I would be doing that. Uh, I will need to... Oh, this is one of the harder horses, okay. Yikes, okay, well, he's a rank 5 horse, he's the same rank as mine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Ooh. And again, I don't have the necessary. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where are you going, buddy? I don't have a good bond with this guy, so obviously he's going to just run all over the place. Oh gosh! Even, even this? Really? Okay. Well. Uh, I don't plan on keeping this horse. Uh, so, and yes, there is a Lionel here that I want to get past pretty fast, and he can get his explosion move. Right, he's moving all over the place. And yeah. Same issue with all these horses. Now what I'm trying to do is basically reach this specific area. I think it's this area here. There is a shrine here. So once I've reached that area, can you please turn, Mr. Horse? Uh, I should be good. Excellent. Okay. So we shall try to climb from here. And this is a breakable rock. I'm not gonna bother with that. And I should be able to just kind of spread this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that is kind of risky. Going up this way.
Oh. Okay, that. Wow. I thought I'd made it high enough so that it wouldn't matter, but I guess it did matter. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Barely made it. But that's okay. Alright, so. Um, again, this is just gonna be a whole lot of climbing. And we're headed towards the shrine, which is correct. There we go. I'll try to find paths where I don't have to physically climb as much. My frost resistance is wearing off, which is unfortunate. There's a shrine here that we can register. A very filthy area. It's almost like a dump yard here. There's an NPC who gives you the quest <coughs> and teaches you that you should be cooking pretty much anything and everything. So, there's that. I wonder if uh, there's going to be any items here. Oh, palm fruit. Oh, cool. So, I got some decent healing items. Okay. Uh, this point forth. I believe I just need to climb up this mountain. Yeah, so. Okay, these guys. So there's gotta be a talus down there. Definitely. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, that's just a shrine. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go here. And we climb. So this is going to be a slow trek. That's okay. I rather take my time doing this rather than just rushing up. Um, try to see if there is enough purchase here so that I can actually just regen my stamina. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, if not, that's okay. I've got two more uh, mushroom uh, that I can just kind of eat. Endure shroom recipe that I can eat. So basically, I need to climb up the top of the mountain. And then after that, I should be able to see the maze where the shrine is housed. Uh, and for this specific one, I, sh I think I know where to go. Okay, yeah, I'll need to eat one more. Okay. Mm, wow. These are really <laughs> high-end places. I guess I could have gone there. <coughs> that particular flat land, but I guess I climbed way too fast, way too early. I'm not gonna do the last bit. Yeah. I do want every little bit of stamina and that little bit extra should help. Okay. Recover. Recover. Okay, so it's getting cold here. And my food's worn off. Okay, that's good. Higher still. I think at this point I should start taking extra damage. Ooh, no, 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 hold up. Is he? No, oh, he's not alive. But that one is, okay. The one a little bit farther was alive. Okay, so. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Okay, not a problem. Uh, I have enough food to last me. Uh, oh, okay. Nice, 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 yeah. Just keep giving me more stamina. Recovery. When I'm down on my last heart, I shall eat food. Okay, where am I supposed to go here? Okay, down on my last heart. I need the rush room. And this. Okay, good. 
so uh, let's see here it should be around here somewhere well, there is a shrine here but it's hidden behind this uh, specific time okay there it is so this specific shrine we basically have to so there's four there is this is a maze and one two three four so the one on the bottom right that has the solution and I'm hoping I'll be able to land at the exact right place for this one. Okay. I think it's here. Yeah, I'm fairly certain, yeah. So it's in between these gloom clusters. And, uh, that's the quest will trigger. That's fine. And uh, we'll go through here. Right there, and there you go. So this is a fairly easy one. Best way to show us all these shrines as long as you know where and how to get through to here. It's all good. Okay, so this was, uh, I would say, the easiest of the three. The Akala region took forever. <laughs> the Hebra region took a longer time. This one didn't take as long. So I would say maybe just get this piece first. So this is the chest armor. So what's it called? The Barbarian armor. I Perfect. Okay, and I'll get the chest refill here. Sorry, the health refill here. And with this, we'll deal 50% more damage, I'm sorry, to enemies, so we should be able to kill enemies uh, that much faster now. So you do not need to upgrade this to deal additional damage to the enemies, so that's the important thing to understand. I'll demonstrate this by killing guardians, they should have respawned uh, after the blood moon. The blood moon did happen, it happened between recording a couple of parts. Uh, uh, just to kind of demonstrate uh, how much more damage this does. Okay, excellent. And this area is also locked, so that is another thing that I have to do. I shall do it another time. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to demonstrate how uh, this this works. I'm thinking since I have a bit of time in this video, I will do a few shrines, maybe at least one shrine so that uh, I can get another stamina vessel. I'm considering perhaps I should get a heart container now because the stamina vessels have served their purpose. Alright, so first things first, full set of barbarian armor. As you'll see, right underneath the weather symbol, the, the temperature symbol there beneath the stamina wheels, there is a sword up sign. This means that all three of these pieces, when worn, increase attack. And so the attack has been increased by 50%. And this is my default gear. Which you'll see me in. And uh, yeah. So I should be able to kill him much faster now. So much faster and already this is uh, this is just with the set piece. I, I'm not even wearing, uh, I don't even have the Master Sword, uh, which would increase this, uh, which would make this even more potent. So, yeah. And the weapon has a Ooh, hello. I should have not get back at it. And 
What should I be using? I suppose I'll use the spear first. Again, uh, excellent damage. I, I'm gonna sneak behind these guys now because he just hit me hard and I did not expect that. And I think I'm out of fairies as well, so very lucky that I had the, the, the fairy when I did. So, yeah. Need to focus on obtaining more. Uh, the last one. Okay, awesome. Uh, what should we go with? I'm kind of using the axe. I can get these. That's the third one, guys. So yeah, aside from the little bit of a fiasco with the with the, with the second one, uh, it's all good. Yeah, just to demonstrate uh, that the deca decayed guardians can be killed in much faster now than before. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I have sufficient to sell, a bunch of stuff to sell. I want my money to start going higher and higher. I also need more arrows arrows are always important um so yeah so that's basically it i will do a few more uh, errand quests here uh specifically uh, the one or two quest um, one or two shrines sorry so that i can level my uh stamina vessel up a little bit more uh so I've put two into the stamina vessel already. Do I need all that? That's the question at this moment in time. Uh, I don't know. I, I suppose I'm doing okay with stamina. I could do one more and then I'll start putting points into heart container. Because I do want the heart containers to go up. Ooh, passing the gates. This is uh, always a interesting one. For sure. Yeah. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So you have to grab the key here, I think. Yep. Excellent. Then this ball needs to be placed at a very specific location, which can be accessed through here. So just kick this ball down there. It has moved in a really bad place. I do not know if that would be a good uh, location for that. Uh, yeah. Also, I should wear the the set that allows me to move faster. Okay, there we go. Where is the arrow? I, I, I do want to get my arrow back if I can. Oh, there it is. 
lovely. Uh, the ball. Okay, now it's at a good spot. Oh. Where'd it go? Okay, it's right there. Okay, so let's go kick that ball down there. And right there. So if I toss this right, it should into that circle. We'll start hitting this area. And then... Uh, currently this area is inaccessible. So I need to... Forget. Yep. Yes, this is what I need to do. surface first. Uh, let's see. Let's pick that. This should be another weapon, I think, if I'm not incorrect. Feathered edge, yes. Perfect. Um, if I'm not incorrect, there should be... I should just need to hit that. And that would open up that area. So we'll jump in like this. How much uh, arrows do I have left? Not many. There you go. And that opens the shrine. And we're done. Splendid. Bit of an interesting one, that one. So skip that. Skip. And yeah, so that gives me... So that's 12 or orbs done. Out of the 40, we have 28 more shrines to complete. Then we'll have enough uh, to proceed to the next part. So the reason why I want 40 shrines is because uh, I'm aiming to get the Master Sword. And Master Sword requires uh, you to use... Uh, it requires you to have 13 hearts. It'll use up thir 12 and 3 quarter hearts. And then you can pull out the Master Sword. It's in a very specific location in the Korok Forest. Uh, and it is a weapon that does not break. It has a cooldown of 10 minutes. But um, during that time, uh, you're able to get it back. So that's, that's the benefit of that weapon. Okay, so that's another one I shall attempt to do. I should be able to pick up the heart container. That's fine. Metal connections. Oh, this one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is also not my favorite shrine. Admittedly, it has... Uh, it has a lot to be desired. It's basically, high uh, rise areas. And, uh, yeah. Very bad platforming. Let's see what we can do. This is one of the few shrugs that uh, reminds me heavily of uh, Tears of the Kingdom because Tears of the Kingdom Ultra Hand is such a prevalent skill. Oh gosh, what the heck? Yeah, see that? This is what I'm talking about. Stuff like this. With this shrine. It's 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 a lot. 
So it's less about solving a puzzle, more about it being tedious. It makes it less fun. I mean, I know the solution to it, but it's just putting it in the correct location. It, it takes a lot of effort. Now, I'll have to put it here. Then I must put it to the other location as well. While well, taking this thing down. I'm sure people have done it differently. Of course, people who are speedrunners can do it with just throwing bombs around, which is uh, which is in my opinion even crazier. So I usually just put it here in this specific location. Second one, so the third one, and there you have it. Another example of uh, why this is my most disliked shrine, one of my uh, least favorite shrines. Honestly, the least favorite shrine that I have it has got to be in the DLC, uh, the Shrine of Death. It just kills you ten different ways. It is absolutely crazy, that specific shrine. Okay, can you move a little bit forward, please? No, of course not. No! That should do it. And if Link will cooperate in climbing correctly, that'd be great. And we are done. So that's another headache down. <laughs> Some of these shrines are, are pretty bad. Less about figuring it out. I, I mean, I know like a lot of these shrines that I was doing the first time, some of them legit took me a long time, uh, but I was okay. I was like, okay, I know this is this is what it is. So I'll, 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 I'll breeze past it. I think at this point I will go collect my reward. Uh, the, I guess I'll go with the stamina vessel again. It doesn't hurt to have more. And uh, yeah. So we'll go back to Kakariko, and again, Kakariko is another shrine that I haven't done yet. I have to complete it. It's, it's just a tutorial quest, but uh, every time I struggle. And it's just a sh side hop. So. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to try to keep this video 30 minutes. If I, if I don't have to go over, I won't. And uh, as long as it, as soon as it loads up. Uh, it. So yeah, the the three piece barbarian set. I'm uh, really glad that I was able to get this uh, in a timely manner. I didn't expect that I'd be done so soon. It didn't take long at all. It took ten minutes, uh, or just over ten minutes, uh, which is crazy. Usually, uh, this sort of thing takes a whole lot longer. Okay, so stamina vessel, please. Oh, sorry. Okay. I uh, hit B. <laughs> My mistake. Stamina vessel, yes. I'll give you the power you seek. Thank you, thank you. And there you have it. More than halfway done to words by uh, stamina completion. You get max of three stamina wheels. I have one and a half or over one and a half. So that is good. Okay, I think I'll call it here. And uh, yeah. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.